some of your everyday habits can play a significant role in your risk for cancer. And so this morning I have Ty Bollinger joining us. Uh, Ty has uh, done several documentaries on cancer, uh, 10 books. Uh, you're going to be at the Total Health Show coming up this weekend here in Toronto. Talk to us right now about some of the things that people could just really do to, to help themselves. Sure. I mean, one of the main things that we can do to prevent cancer, to, to decrease our cancer risk, is just watch what we're cooking with and what we're eating. I mean, it sounds pretty mundane. It sounds so obvious, but that's a major issue with cancer is what are we putting in our mouth? Yeah, so vegetable oil is something that we got to be a little... You know, any kind of oils that are vegetable oils that have been what we call hydrogenated, right? Mm -hmm. They become trans fats. Those are really bad oils to eat. And then the pans you're using. The pans you're using, if you're using the non-stick pans, you know, you watch the infomercials on TV and say, hey, you know, the, you know t cook the eggs without the oil or whatever. Well, the thing that makes them non-stick when it heats, it creates what's called PFOAs, which are toxic gases. Talk to me about cell phones, because, you know, we're a connected world right now. Everybody's with their smartphone. They're, they're living their lives yeah. through their phone. Cell phones have been shown to be related to an increase in brain cancers. Now, this goes all the way back to the 1980s when one of the big telephone companies out on the West Coast commissioned a scientist to study cell phones. Now, this is back, if you remember, Frank, when cell phones were as big as a football. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But they were studying cell phones because they wanted to know that there was not a risk of cancer. They wanted to kind of have something that they could check off that says these are okay. Well, what he found was quite the opposite. He found that they were associated with the risk of brain cancer. And since that time, we've had dozens of studies, and the, the independent studies are showing that, yes, cell phone use is related to the risk of cancer, specifically brain cancer, and specifically tumors on the side of the head that you typically hold your phone. Yeah, so I guess it would be using hands-free. Is there other options that you can do? Sure, that? Bluetooth's better. Anything that you can do to get that device away from your body. So if it's not close to your head, there's just a, a limited amount of space around that cell phone that emits the radiation that's strong enough to damage, which also shows you that you shouldn't be holding them in your pockets, right? Right? Or women that carry them in their bra, yeah. don't do that because it's emitting radiation in that area that you're holding it. And something a lot of people enjoy in their daily consumption is sugar. Sugar. Yeah. Sugar feeds cancer cells. Cancer cells are anaerobic, mm -hmm. which means they produce energy without oxygen. They ferment sugar. Sugar is cancer's primary fuel. So if you want to decrease your cancer risk or if you already have been diagnosed with cancer and want to do something that's just really basic to help your treatment options, right, to help mm -hmm. your treatment work better, get rid of sugar out of your diet because what you've done is you've gotten rid of the primary fuel that feeds cancer. Sugar also depresses the immune system for up to six hours. And One that's processed sugar, right? Processed sugar. Now, some people say, well, should we not eat fruit because mm -hmm. of sugar in it? No, I'm not talking about that processed sugar that's in sodas, right? This is, that's the main culprit in sodas. One soda has 12 teaspoons of sugar. Yeah. So you're going to depress your immune system most of the day if you, if you wake up in the morning and drink a soda. And we're letting our kids have that too. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. Is and processed food. Yeah. Processed foods are, are really, really bad for a couple of reasons. Number one, the main reason is because our body does, it doesn't have the enzymes, so our bodies don't really digest them very well. Mm -hmm. But the main reason that processed foods are so dangerous, and this is only over the last 10 to 15 years, is that 90 plus percent of processed foods, if they're not organic, they contain genetically modified organisms, or GMOs. Mm -hmm. And GMOs have been linked to increased rates of cancer. We could talk forever on this. Uh, you know, if you want to meet up with Ty and see Ty through the weekend, what you can do is you can go to the Total Health Show. For more information, totalhealthshow.com. And you have several pub publications. Where can people reach to you directly? They can reach me. Just go to www.thetruthaboutcancer.com. My contact information is on there. Well, thank you very much, Ty, hey, for thank coming you, this morning. Appreciate it. Hey, everybody, live healthy. Have a great day. We're going to see you right after the break with more details on your weekend forecast. And we're live this morning from Rogers Center. Go Jays.